Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, you are going to learn my number one trick for getting great sounding audio quality from home on a bootstrap budget. Now, if you don't know about my story, my wife and I co-founded a website in 2009. We effectively sell audio meditations, downloadable MP3s. We have recorded thousands of meditations and they've been listened to millions of times online. So our core business is MP3 files. And in meditations, we need very clean sounding MP3 files. We all, we didn't always have a solid budget that we could invest in gear. Now, what I'm using right now is my home studio setup. Um, this is about a thousand dollars to get this done. And I don't have my audio acoustical treatments in the room right now because I'm going to switch to a new microphone. That's going to show you a different sound from a very, very budget friendly microphone. And I want you to hear it in a normal room experience. And that's why this video sounds a little bit different than my past videos. So first off, let's jump into the microphone and then we're going to talk about ways to protect the sound as you create the microphone. Uh, one other little caveat before we get into this microphone and what it is, uh, my wife and I spent four years traveling around the world. We didn't have a home base. We needed a very effective travel friendly setup and we spent a lot of times in the tropics. And if you've ever been to the tropics, there's no carpet. So you're dealing with tile floors, tile walls, and it's often an echo chamber. And that's what we had to combat on a deep dive budget. So the number one is the microphone itself. You know, there's really nothing you can do with terrible sounding audio that gets recorded. Uh, maybe some people smarter than I am could figure out how to deal with that in post-production, but the moment of recording is so vital to your success. Um, this here is the Shure MV5. This microphone is under a hundred dollars. And I think for the money, this is one of the absolute best microphones on the market. In a minute, we're going to get it set up. You're going to hear it in this room as is, and then I'll show you how to kind of treat it at home or whether you're on the go. It's got a few settings on the back, but it's extremely simple. There's essentially um, audio setting and then there's also a musician setting. So if you want to record audio, if you want to record acoustic guitar, etc. This is uh, by Sure. Sure makes the, um, what is it? The SM78 or the SM58, which has been used by musicians for years. It's a brand you can trust. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get off of my other Sure microphone, uh, the fancy broadcast one, and I'm going to get this set up so you you can hear what the difference is right here in this exact setup going from the thousand dollar audio setup to this and then i'll show you how to increase the sound and make the quality better if you already have a microphone that you like but you just want to remove some of the the reverb or the echo uh the tinny sound from the room that's what we'll learn in the third step here so let me switch this out for us right now Okay, so right now we're on the new microphone. And again, I don't have my sound blankets up. I don't have any of the audio acoustic treatments in the room. I'm gonna show you kind of how to hack that here in a second on an extreme budget. But I first wanted you to get a feel for this microphone. Now, one of the cool things about this microphone, uh, as opposed to the SM7B, the full broadcast setup, a link below that, that shows the whole setup and the audio interface, um, that microphone runs on XLR, which means it needs to go into a cloud lifter and that needs to go into a focus right which is an audio interface and then it gets to usb uh, this microphone right here is a usb microphone so if you're starting uh, a voiceover career on upwork or you just want to do voiceovers for your youtube videos or if you're looking for a microphone you can use in your youtube videos or for a podcast i really do think for under 100 dollars, this is one of the best um, options going now, I am an affiliate on Amazon, of course, uh, as is everyone online. Uh, link to this below in the description is my Amazon affiliate link. I do appreciate the support, but that's not really why I'm doing this. I wanted to show you really this next step, which is how do we go from this sound? Because you are still picking up a little bit of the reverb. My, my voice is kind of bouncing off the walls in this bedroom I'm in. There's hardwood floors. I do have a rug down. Uh, how do we work with this? Well, my wife and I came up with something while we were traveling, and I nicknamed it the foam box of love. And what it requires is one of these kind of boxes. Now you find these very often in Target, you'll find these in um, Walmart, Ikea, and they're for like, um, it's not a bookshelf, but it's kind of like a bookshelf. It's like a bookshelf dresser thing, bunch of squares, you slide these in and out, you can fill them with whatever you want. The first time we did this, we bought one of these, we went down to Walmart, I believe we were in Hawaii at the time. 
and then you need some foam. Now this is actual audio acoustic foam. Uh, I have this left over from our home studio. You can see that build in the other video in the description. Uh, but the first time we actually set this up, I just bought a simple twin mattress cover, a foam mattress cover, and I cut it up to work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wedge these foam pieces inside of that box. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the microphone inside of the box and carry on conversing with you so you can hear what happens. Now, now, obviously, if you're doing YouTube videos, you can't have a giant box blocking your face if you want this kind of shot. But if you're doing only voiceover work, if you're doing only podcasting type work, this is an extremely good hack to really kind of cool down the sound in what might be a reverberative or an echo based room. Let me go ahead and get this set up for us now. Okay. At this point, you can see I've simply lined the interior of this box with the different foam pieces. Now, what's really cool about this when we were traveling, the, the box itself folds down flat and the foam is very compressible. So I would put this on the bottom of my suitcase and just smash all my other clothes on top of it. So we were able to travel with this. Next step, I'm going to cut the audio because I need to touch the microphone and that would sound terrible. But I'm going to get this reset up to where you can actually hear me speaking directly in. I'm going to put, you're not going to be able to see it, unfortunately. I'm going to put the microphone at least halfway in, right? I don't want the microphone sticking out because then it'll pick up what's bouncing off the walls around it. So I really wanna make sure I get the microphone inside, deep inside of this thing. Not all the way at the back, but just most of the way back in. So let me get that set up for us now. So this is where it's gonna get a little goofy because the honest truth is to get the best audio quality I'm actually going to get inside of this box. And right now you can really hear that there's much more of a deadened sound around what's going on. Now, obviously this doesn't work very well for video, correct? So, so you want to make sure that if you're doing voiceover work or if you're doing just a straight podcast, you can get really all up in here to get the best possible audio quality. And I'm telling you this entire setup here can be made for just about $120. Okay, that's a little ridiculous, me having my face inside of the foam box of love right now with you on camera. Uh, so we're back to the sound of the microphone itself without the audio acoustical treatments in here. But the goal, again, is if you want to take your podcast seriously, if you want to take your voiceover seriously, or even your YouTube videos, you need to get a quality microphone. There's definitely a wide variety of quality. And a lot of people say you need the Shure SM7B or you need the Heil microphone. And you can easily find yourself spending 500 to $1,000 on a home setup. But I really don't think that's necessary. What's truly necessary is for you to put in the work, for you to become a content creator, for you to start putting out episode after episode, show after show, for you to create lots of great content. And to do this, you want some decent quality gears, a decent kit, right? A hundred dollar microphone and $20 worth of foam cut out if you cut it off of a mattress pad and or a box right there. And you've really got what it takes to get over the hump, to get yourself into that semi-pro level of quality so you can then work on the other pieces, which is how do I deliver my message? How do I interview someone? How do I become a competent communicator? Because ultimately that's the big key. And if your audio is absolute terrible, even if you're a good communicator, they're still going to listen to you. But when you get a good balance of a great budget setup with good quality, and really if you're all in on that podcast and you want to just take your quality to the tippy top without spending a ton of money, I think this is an absolute great way to go. A uh, quick shout out to my sound blankets. These are essentially heavy duty moving blankets. I hang these throughout my room. Um, they've got grommets on them. So they've got these grommets on them here. I simply hang these little eye hooks uh, in the beams. I have exposed beams above me here. So generally for me, when I'm recording all of my other videos, there's one sound blanket behind you. It's behind the camera. And then I've got another sound blanket on this side here. So I put two blankets. I make a little bit of a tent around me. I put those little um, hooks in the beams. Those blankets weigh about 12 pounds each. So if you're using them and you're screwing into the ceiling, you need to put it 
going to anchor in or else it's just going to pull right out. Uh, the combination of having those sound blankets and the foam box is going to absolutely take some ordinary audio gear, some $100 microphones, and it's going to make you sound like a true professional. And I think you've been able to hear here in this video and in the audio of this video, the differences. All the links below to the um, sound blankets by US Cargo Control, the links will be down below. The microphone, the links will be down below. I thank you very much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, get at me in the comments below and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video. Until we meet again, be well.